Hello. In the next five minutes, I'm going to help you understand more about pressure injuries. Pressure injuries are also known as bed sores and pressure ulcers. A pressure injury is a wound to the skin and underlying tissue. A pressure injury can be minor, such as when you get red marks on your skin that don't go away. A pressure injury can also be severe, where it goes deep into the tissue beyond your skin to the muscles. Pressure injuries are caused by unrelieved pressure and or shearing to the skin, which occurs from the force of the skin and underlying tissue moving in opposite directions, such as when you are slipping down in a bed or chair. Both pressure and shearing result in poor blood flow to the affected area, which can result in a pressure injury. This diagram shows the most common places that pressure injuries can occur. As you can see, skin over bony areas, such as back of the head, shoulders, elbows, buttocks, heels and toes, are particularly vulnerable. But please note that any area that experiences unrelieved pressure or shearing is at risk. There are a number of factors that put you at risk for developing a pressure injury. The major risk factors are immobility, poor circulation, poor sensation or feeling, and inadequate nutrition. Immobility is one. Any condition that causes you to have restricted mobility puts you at risk of pressure injuries. For example, if you are bedridden because you have a broken hip, or if you are not moving around much because you have pain, you are more at risk of a pressure injury. When you have poor circulation, you are at greater risk for pressure injuries because less blood is flowing to that area of the body. Blood supplies nutrients and oxygen to your skin and tissues for maintaining their integrity. Poor sensation or feeling can mean that you don't move around as much because you cannot feel the discomfort from staying in one position for a long period of time. Finally, inadequate nutrition puts you at risk for developing a pressure injury because good nutrition is needed for healthy skin and wound healing. Because pressure injuries cause pain and discomfort and can result in other complications, it is very important to do everything you can to prevent them. Nurses undertake a number of activities to try to prevent you from developing pressure injuries, such as assessing your risk and helping you to move around to relieve pressure areas. There are also three simple things you can do to decrease your risk. One, keep moving. Two, look after your skin. And three, eat a healthy diet. I will tell you a bit more about each of these three simple things. Keep moving. Because pressure injuries can be caused by unrelieved pressure, it is important to keep moving. This may mean going for regular walks or changing your position when you are sitting in a chair or you are in bed. Even small changes in position can redistribute the pressure. So, Try to move around every hour or two. When you change positions, use pillows to support yourself if needed. And if you are unable to move yourself, ask the staff to help you change your position. So, keep moving. Look after your skin. It is important to keep your skin clean and dry. Use a mild and moisturising soap to wash yourself. You should use moisturising lotion to prevent skin from becoming dry and cracked. This also creates a barrier to moisture. Staff can apply moisturiser to any difficult to reach spots. If your clothes or bedding are damp, let the staff know so they can change the linen. If your skin becomes soiled, it is important to clean it as soon as possible. Special pressure relieving equipment such as air mattresses, cushions and booties may be used to reduce the pressure to areas at risk. Make sure you advise staff if you have tenderness, pain or soreness over a bony area or if you notice any reddened, blistered or broken skin. So, keep moving and look after your skin. 3. Eat a healthy diet. Good nutrition plays a vital role in skin protection and wound healing. Lean meats, poultry, fish, eggs, beans or legumes, vegetables, fruit and dairy products are good sources of iron and protein which help your skin to heal. Ensure you drink plenty of liquids to keep yourself well hydrated. If you have problems with your diet and eating, ask to see a qualified dietitian. 
and take nutritional supplements as prescribed. So, keep moving, look after your skin and eat a healthy diet to decrease your risk of getting a pressure injury. So, in summary, pressure injuries are also known as bed sores and are wounds to your skin and underlying tissue. They are caused by unrelieved pressure, like when you lie in one position for a long period of time, or from shearing, such as when you slip down in bed. There are three simple things you can do to help decrease your risk of getting a pressure injury. Keep moving, look after your skin, and eat a healthy diet. Actively participating in your own care by undertaking these three simple activities will decrease your chances of getting a pressure injury.